Many desire to see transformation happen around them. But who is to take on that responsibility? Victor Omondi has more. Victor, yes. what can you say has brought you this far? Okay, uh, Victor, I'm Victor Elvis Omondi. I'm a young person from Kisumu County. I work in Nyalenda community, mm -hmm. which is informal settlement. Okay. So I run a CBO, a community-based organization, which is a youth-led. Uh, called Nyalenda Young Task Community Based Organization. So Nyalenda Young Task is a community based organization. As the name suggests Nyalenda, mm. Nyalenda is a, a community name called Nyalenda Slam in Kisumu County. Mm. So Young Task is a group of young people, volunteers that came together to support our community with various information, various resources, and uh, working with various partners that might not know where Nyalenda is so that we can get resources into our community. Yes, so Nyalenda Young Tars is a, a, we work in Tayakisumu County, in uh, seven sub county Nyakach, Seme, mm -hmm. uh, Muroni, and we work with young people between the age of 15 to 35. Mm -hmm. Yes, so we have different programs, sexual reproductive health, gender-based violence, environmental and personal hygiene. Mm -hmm. We do education program. Uh, we also help in COVID-19 sensitization, mm -hmm. yes, because COVID is with us. Wow. Yes. And uh, what inspired you? What is the inspiration behind it? Nya, uh, Nyalenda Young Nyalenda Young Task. Task. Okay. Uh -huh. During the pandemic, COVID-19, there were a lot of young people that lost job opportunity because in our notion, we have been believing that uh, everybody should be going for white collar job. So when we realized that during COVID-19, so many companies, so many institutions were not able to give us this platform to work, many people were back at home. So we resolved to have a different angle of where we can do things within our social or uh, where we just come together and bring different ideas together mm -hmm. to work and make a change in our community. So we, was, we started with doing sensitization of COVID-19 where we could get newspapers, we could distribute PPs through charitable organizations, we could work with churches, we could work with the government, both county and national government, uh, specifically the Ministry of Health. Mm -hmm. So we were giving out, we were distributing COVID-19, PPs and those other things. We were sensitized members of our community of issue around social distancing. We also helped in the demarcation of uh, Moi Stadium, Kibuya during those kind of period. Mm -hmm. So during that time we identified that our community had a lot of issues. These issues were disability. Uh, there are a lot of people who are with disability but they were not having disability card. So if you don't have disability card, you cannot get government services. A exemption from KRA and those kind of social responsibilities. So we worked with the National Disability Council to help us in registration for these people. Uh, there were extreme cases where these people could not walk from their houses to where our offices are because they lack assistive devices. So we also make an arrangement on how they can get these assistive devices. And as an organization, we have distributed more of wheelchairs to the vulnerable, the children with special need, and even youth with disability. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, there was a bit of issues around the inclusion of person with disability. Mm -hmm. So if you, get to, if you come to our office, being that we are supporting person with disability, we have inclusion even in our board structure, mm -hmm. even in terms of our staffing because disability is one of our beneficiary in the community. Okay. So we give them platform for employment, mm -hmm. a platform for education, and those kind of things. Wow, and uh, you can do anything you wanted, yes. but why did you choose this organization? Yes, we, we decided to uh, do this so that we can air uh, our challenges within the community because mm -hmm. uh, there are a lot of things that are happening within the informal settlement that are not being seen outside. Uh, so we give them a platform so that people can come together and discuss. And that's why we have been creating plat a platform for community dialogue, community baraza, so that people come and share their own challenges. What they feel is not working out well for us. Mm -hmm. If you are not having a, a proper health facility in Kisumu, how can we do that? Those are the initiatives we are doing through public participation in our community. And is this what you've always wanted to do? Is it your area of study or how is it? 
uh, me as a person, I was a, I studied uh, journalism mm. for some time, but in my line of work and uh, internship, I realized there are a lot of issues. But these issues, you cannot say, change it at one person. It's a collective responsibility. Mm -hmm. So I thought of bringing in an initiative that is a community-driven. And that's why we are having Nyalenda Youngtas Community-Based Organization. Mm -hmm. So the activities we are doing are community-owned. Okay. They are community-driven. Before we do any exercise or any program, mm -hmm. we always have a community dialogue so that we do situation analysis. Like for example, if issues around teenage pregnancy that we're experiencing in Nyalenda, mm -hmm. we bring parents, we bring religious families, we bring MCAs, those kind of people, we put them into consideration, even the young girls themselves, mm -hmm. so that they discuss their own issues. So we are making a change that is community-owned, mm -hmm. that members of the community are actively participating to it. Mm -hmm. Yes. You speak Nyalenda young tax. Yes. But you've mentioned that uh, you do uh, around different uh, sub-counties. Sub -county, yes. Why is it that you named your organization Nyalenda, but you operate in different sub-counties? Is there something that's changed? All right. When we were starting this, we thought this initiative was for Nyalenda alone. Mm. Because the higher number of our staffing by then, when we were forming this, were people within this particular locality. Mm. But when we realized the challenges that are being faced in Nyalenda, the same in Obunga and the same in Manyata and the same in Awasi, Central Seme and the rest, we started working because as an organization we are allowed to work in the entire county. Mm. But our main strength, main strength where if you even go to the community, even Boda Boda Shed, you ask them, do you know this particular initiative? We are in Kisumu Central and Kisumu is sub-county. Yes. Okay. Nyalenda Yangtas is a, a non-profit making organization. Okay. So if you give us maybe 50 blankets to go and distribute it, maybe Kapuote, mm. where there's uh, issues around flooding, we'll just go and distribute that, the all of it, and give you a report. Okay. And that will help us with various partners. Mm. So Nyalenda Yangtas has worked with the local partners, a global partners as well. Mm. And uh, in local partnership, we have worked with the county government of Kisumu, we have worked with the Tinada Youth Organization, we have worked with the WOVOP, uh, we have worked with so many UDS, name them. Mm -hmm. In global angle, we have worked with different organizations. We have worked with FIDA Kenya, mm -hmm. where we are referring our cases of GBV. We have worked with the Triggerize Kenya, who are our main funder now. And Triggerize is helping us in supporting young adolescent girls on issues around sexual reproductive health, information, and communities. Okay. And uh, Triggerize has helped us to move from uh, paperwork to digital platform. Mm -hmm. So we have a TICO platform. So a TICO platform, Trigger is we support young adolescent girls with these commodities and information for free between the age of 15 to, to 19. Mm -hmm. We work with the private uh, health facilities for quality services. We work with the facility within our community for accessibility because you understand health now should be quality, mm -hmm. affordable and accessible. Okay. Yes, so with the, in partnership with Trigger Rise Kenya, we are doing demand generation for this. And we have various community mobilizers. We are working in 11 wards. Mm -hmm. And these 11 wards, each ward has 10 mobilizers. So these are an employment opportunity for them. Uh, you seem to be doing a lot of things in your organization. Uh, what, is, what exactly did you, when you started, Ulkuna yes. Sema, okay, fine, I'm focusing on Nyalenda and this and this is what <coughs> I will do. Yes. What changed in between? Yes, every community has a lot of issues. Uh. And the more we are doing our activities, the more issues are coming in. Mm -hmm. uh, people are asking a lot of questions because when we started this, we were focusing on COVID-19. Okay. So people were asking, how can we benefit we person with stability? When we were walking along the way, people were asking the survivors, GBV survivors, how can we benefit on this? So we identify specific programs, and we are having around five programs. Okay. I know there are a lot of things that happen in our community, mm -hmm. but we cannot solve all of them. So we have identified ourselves with five issues. These issues around health, where we are doing sexual reproductive health, issues around gender-based violence and sexual gender-based violence, mm -hmm. issues around uh, environmental and personal hygiene, uh, sexual reproductive health, and COVID-19 sensitization, and issues around food security also. Mm -hmm. Yes. And um, uh, your programs, how do, are you able to keep track of them since from Nyalenda, mm -hmm. you went and expanded the whole thing? 
Okay, uh, and that's why I was, I was saying we mm -hmm. have uh, a system in place as okay. organization. Mm -hmm. We have a organization organogram that we are following. Okay. We have our board members who are helping us in resource mobilization. Mm -hmm. Then we have management team. Management team, we have executive director, we have HR office, we have uh, finance office, we have a d office. So m d office is monitoring and evaluation. That okay. is the department that is helping us in tracking our progress, our success, reporting tool that we are supposed to use and those kind of things. Mm. We have a HR department that is helping us, the kind of stuff we are bringing in to help us. We have serious and key HR policies that if you want to join us, you should be which particular age. Okay. Academic level should be which. How do we do for you interview? How do we orient, do orientation or induction for you? Mm -hmm. How do we motivate our staff? How do we pay them? Those kind of things. Mm -hmm. Then we have uh, me as executive director this is doing a administration and resource mobilization for my team. Mm -hmm. We have finance department and we have a finance policy, a clear finance policy, how we um, how we spend our money. Mm -hmm. Yes. Simple, this, simple, simple. This is basically a company. Mimi mm Akiliango -hmm. Kiongea, I'm like, wow, this is a very huge company. I'm it's an organization. <laughs> it's an organization, not a company. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. We are a non profit making organization. Mm. Yes. But we motivate our team. Mm. Yes. It's it's a it's a huge it's a huge platform you have. Yes. And yes. Uh, what are the uh, achievements you've had so far? Okay. We have uh, we started with uh, working with county government of Kisumu. Mm. Now we have a base of around 42 partners. That's the biggest wow. achievement. Mm. Uh, we have worked with the CHEB from the Maryland University. We have worked with Maisha Med Kenya. We have worked with the Trigger Rice Kenya. We have built capacity of our staff mm. in various issues, even in terms of advocacy. Uh, we have created a platform for Nyalenda that is now Nyalenda that was uh, people view as an insecure place. So there are a lot of young people that are now doing a lot of things. We were doing a, plat a, a program with the Plan International on a safe and inclusive city that we were targeting border border and those who are doing small business into the community. And we have made a lot of progress. And if you look at even border border now, what they are doing, there are a lot of changes and they are smooth operation in those kind of industry. Mm -hmm. Yes. I see in your vision you say that you want to transform lives and impart skills that bring out uh, sustainability in the community. Yes. Have you been able to do that? Yes, we have, we have not achieved it fully because mm -hmm. uh, we have a clear goal. Mm -hmm. We have a strategic plan for five years. Okay. This is our second year. We started 2020 now as a certified organization. We have a, a, a vision of where we want to go, mm -hmm. where we want to be in uh, within five years, within our strategic plan. But we always do quarterly review on our progress mm -hmm. by each and every department. So we have made a, a lot of changes mm -hmm. and a lot of achievement. We have distributed a lot of wheelchairs. We have linked uh, so many young girls to uh, this access to basic uh, sexual reproductive health information and commodities. We have uh, created a platform for personal disability inclusion and uh, you are aware that in Kisumu County we have a disability advisor to the governor, Carolina Gwanda, who is mm -hmm. advising governor on issues around disability inclusion. Mm -hmm. We have a department for youth, women, and persons with disability at the county level. Mm -hmm. We have a, a ward committee and village committee where we have representative of persons with disability in those kind of platforms. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a, a, we have disseminated those kind of act, disability act to members of our community and the members of our community now understand how they should be working with persons with disability in any area they are. We have seen a lot of changes. Even if you go now to Duma Center, you can see we now have uh, what? Uh, it's now disability friendly. We have lift. Mm. Yes. So if person with disability want to go and see governor maybe in the ninth floor, mm. or you want to go and get those services, they just go to the lift, then they access those kind of services. Yeah. So there are a lot of achievement we can account. We work with various community media houses mm -hmm. that help us in uh, advocating our issues and the challenges that are uh, happening here. And the biggest achievement that we have uh, made this year, 2022, is... Uh, peace campaign. Mm. We did a lot of peace campaign and Kisumu County we have been perceived to be violent people. 
yeah. and people around Nyalenda and Kondele have been identified as hotspot. On uh, a peace initiative that we did with the U.S. Embassy, mm -hmm. uh, to one month to election, when we were doing civic education with Oraya, U.S. Embassy, uh, and so many organizations that came in to support this, uh, we made a commitment that whatever are the outcome for this election, we will remain focused to what we are doing. Mm -hmm. uh, we will not be going to the street to destroy other people's business and those kind of things. Oh. And we have made our biggest achievement on that. Uh, we have given a platform for young girls to work with us. Because if you look at the system of our uh, management, so long you fit and you qualify to work with us, we give you a platform irrespective of your tribe, irrespective of your age. And so many people have come and see what we are doing. Mm -hmm. uh, some also have started the organization from yeah. where we started, uh, and we are happy on how they are progressing. That is so encouraging. I love that you're an executive director at such a young age, and you've taken on such a big huge, uh, responsibility. Thank how does that make you feel? I feel good when I see young people doing something uh, making sense to the community, mm. because uh, there are a lot of young people who are still not uh, fully employed. Mm -hmm. So if we can empower thousands of young girls, a thousand of young boys to create uh, a working venue, that will be giving a more employment opportunity for people. So people will not be moving from this particular area and going to Nairobi mm -hmm. to overcrowd there. And we even urge those who are in rural areas to start agriculture. Mm -hmm. They do their own things that can at the end of the day, you'll be getting a basic, how you support your family, how you support yourself also. Mm. <laughs> and are there any challenges you have experienced since you started in 2020 until now? Yes, there are a lot of challenges. Uh, as organization, organization has system. You, you can be having a system, but the system might not be fully adequate. You need to look for people to come, experts to come and train your people. Mm. and these people might need uh, you to pay. So if you don't have enough resources for this, it becomes a challenge. The community might have a lot of expectations from you, and these things are seasonal. For example, if it's a donor funding, you can get a program that is funded for six months, then it ends. Mm. So if somebody was still having an expectation to work with you for two years and the donors now are not bring that particular resource, then there are a lot of, a lot of expectations from we as a young organization. Then as a young organization is also, uh, there's a, a stiff competition also. You can be doing something very grateful, but there are a lot of criticism on what you are doing also. Mm -hmm. But if people criticize what you do, you make changes. Because if people, you are doing something wrong and somebody tell you, ah, I'm not seeing this working out well, mm -hmm. then if you take feedback well, then you change and make you move on. Mm -hmm. Then there was also a challenge on COVID-19 that affected uh, most of our programs and even funding and resource mobilization platforms. So those are the key information uh, challenges that are there. There are also, we still lack some policies to guide some of our programs. And we are still urging the, those who are elected, the MPs and the MCAs, to enact and work on policies. Mm -hmm. that can help young people to do a lot of businesses, to empower and do a lot of uh, changes in our community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You talked about uh, some of the youths you've been working uh, with mm -hmm. have also started their own organizations yes. and they've been able to create some employment through that. Mm -hmm. What are the significant things that uh, you have influenced the youths to do in your community? In our community? Mm -hmm. uh, Economic empowerment is one of the programs we have been supporting for mm -hmm. young people. We are, we are doing table banking and savings. And we, have, uh, we partner with Equity Bank. They always come and sensitize our members on how they can be saving and even taking loans. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you go to Tumaini, Boda Boda Shed, we have a lot of people that we have linked to Equity. And now they have their motor cycles. Mm -hmm. There are some of us who are now averse to businesses those who are doing agribusiness. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, those who are making kitchen garden within Nyalenda community to support in food security. We have uh, create a good leadership skills. Because if you don't develop, a, you are not good in leadership, then you cannot, it's not sustainable. That's true. Yes, so you have to develop your leadership skills. You go to a lot of training, uh, give a lot of platform 
people to criticize what you are doing mm -hmm. and you take advantage of those kind of feedback to make you better. Wow. Yes. Now you're, you're two years in, in the organization and you've yes. accomplished this much. Where do you see yourself in the future? Okay. So uh, we want to have satellite office in all the informal settlement mm -hmm. in uh, the next 10 years. All the insettled uh, informal, informal settlement, settlement in, in Kisum, what do you mean that? within the, slum, the slums areas, oh, okay. so that we give our uh, services, uh, we make them accessible to the community members. Mm -hmm. Because I don't wish somebody moving from Awasi or Jiko to come and get our service in Nyalenda. Okay. I don't want to see people coming from Obonga just to come and get our services here. Mm -hmm. So we are looking forward in future to have satellite offices where we're having representatives or our staff spread across specific words mm -hmm. and if somebody want to get any of our support they can just go to our office and get that <laughs> and as of now where can you be found yes uh, you we have a physical office at Nyalenda community on capital mm -hmm. we also have a strong Facebook page Nyalenda community based organization that's our Facebook page we also have within the Facebook page we have our website there we have all our social media handles there and we have a, a huge followers of around 6,000 people following what we are doing. Mm -hmm. uh, if you ask various partners, even in the Kisumu County government, mm -hmm. and you can get us. Mm -hmm. yes. I, yes. I can't wait to see what you have in store for us next. Yes. So what, can you, uh, what, can, what, what are your last words to the community and the youth in general from your perspective and your organization? What can you tell the community? Okay, so what I can tell young people is to take advantage of the difficult situation you are in. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you are orphan, God knows why you are there. That is not a permanent situation. And your state, you are not working with it. You can become something better than what you think. Mm -hmm. Even if you are doing Django, at the end of the day, a thousand shillings you are carrying and a thousand shillings that uh, a banker is carrying from maybe equity or a politician is carrying it's the it's same the value same. Sure, sure. yes so whatever exercise you are doing for you to earn make be disciplined to whatever you're doing mm -hmm. keep your job well keep everything you are doing my message for women we have a strength because if you get to a home and this is the woman that you will see mm -hmm. a woman bring the husband the woman carry the child the woman is the mother for everything. So all these platforms should be given to women, also to leaders, because they have shown a good example in terms of leadership. Mm -hmm. yes, they, they are not biased and those kind of things. So they can be given a platform. Mm -hmm. And we should be having a society that is very inclusive for persons with disability. Mm -hmm. Our offices should be disability friendly. We should work on policies and programs that support persons with disability so that they are not left behind also. Thank you so much. May the Lord bless you and continue keeping you Kwayoba that you have said. Asad. This has been Youth in Action. I am Nyangweso Grenis. This is the way to do it. This is the way.